local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, today might be one of the more perfect days atmospherically for severe weather, but right now things are pretty calm, but that might be changing over the next couple of hours here. We'll start with a live look outside of the capital city. Overcast and finally some breaks in the clouds. Those clouds have been stubborn today, and that has really limited the uh, instability out there. But like I said, that might be changing. Finally getting up into the 80s here in the capital city. You're at 84 with those east-southeast winds at 14 miles an hour. Meanwhile, in Dickinson, you can see darker skies out toward the west. We're there at 84 with 65% humidity. And look at that 2.71 degrees. That is sticky. You're at 80 in Williston, where they really don't have to worry about the severe weather. They're kind of uh, on the western edge there. Winds out of the north northwest at 8 miles an hour. They are behind a cold front that is moving towards this area. And in the Magic City, you are at 81 degrees. Temperatures right now across the region. It depends on where you are. 75 in the Crosby area, but look at Flasher. That is not a heat deck. Actual air temperature 101 right now, and that is one of the reasons why we are setting the stage for some severe weather. In fact, the uh, Storm Prediction Center putting central and eastern sections as well as southwestern portions of North Dakota under a tornado watch. This was just issued over the last couple of minutes until 1 a.m. Sunday. Bismarck, you are included in this. Also, we have a severe thunderstorm warning that was just issued for this little guy right here, just to the southeast of the Dickinson area. In fact, we can zoom in on this right now. This cell is capable of producing ping pong ball size hail. That will do some serious damage as well as 60 mile an hour wind gusts. This cell moving just to the south of Richardson. This will go for about another half hour or so, the severe thunderstorm warning. And this uh, works out well with what the Storm Prediction Center thinking here. Most places along and east of Interstate or Highway 83, they're under a slight chance for severe weather. The greater chance, the further east you get, an enhanced region for severe weather. And you will be able to see that as we uh, put precision cast into motion. You'll be able to see these storms are expected to blossom. Look at that squall line developing as we get later into the evening. Thankfully, it looks like the worst of it may be just to the east of the Bismarck area. Looks like if you're headed to Fargo, it could be a rough night for our friends to the east. And then things do quiet out as you get up for, war or for church or to go out to breakfast tomorrow morning. Also, dew points will finally be subsiding here. Right now, it is muggy. Dew point of 76 in the capital city. But as that cold front approaches, dew points will finally start to become more comfortable. Look at it. 48 by tomorrow afternoon. It may actually feel chilly, even though those uh, temperatures will still be in the 80s. Tonight in the capital city, we will fall it to 63 with those severe thunderstorms and spots. It will be breezy. Higher gusts if you are in if you are in one of those storms. The same applies for our friends in the Magic City 61 with those severe thunderstorms rolling through. Tomorrow, a much quieter and less humid day, 81 in the capital city with mostly sunny skies, but clouds will be on the increase as we go through the day. 84 tomorrow in Minot with comfortable levels of humidity. Here's a look at your five day forecast for the Dickinson area. Lots of sunshine tomorrow and then a chance for storms the rest of the week. And that's the same thing in Williston, sun and clouds Sunday and Monday, and then a chance for those thunderstorms each day, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And here's your extended forecast for the capital city. Chance for a storm every day after Tuesday, and then the 4th of July looks like also a chance for some thunderstorms. And then finally in the Magic City, pretty much the same thing, a chance for showers and storms, Renee, every day. Looks like Mother Nature might be providing some of her own fireworks on the 4th of <laughs> July. but.